Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're carrying on our Miao Yin campaign. And I'm hoping that this will be an eventful episode, because I know what looms. So anyway, uh, Big Skull, hello. Hello, Skull Face. Uh, so interestingly, right, I often I often see people saying how, how crazy it is. Like, oh, who's, who's carving all the big skulls in the mountains? That's silly. What a stupid thing. Uh, no, Chaos brought that. It's after the Great Cataclysm. Um, the world was basically Chaos's oyster until the Vortex got erected. So that was literally just the gods were putting skulls in mountains. Uh, just, just to show off, pretty much. <laughs> so they just, they just did that. Just manipulated the world. Uh, they wanted the world itself to sort of reel in agony. Storm Dragon. You know, Chaos are weird. Erect unbreakable defenses. Yes. So, uh, yeah, features like that, we're like, oh, it's silly, isn't it? Well, yeah, take it up with Chaos. Take it up with Chaos. So, uh, Snake Gate, Nanyang, what are we doing? Stuff, probably. Let's build this. This puts up our income, and I can use that to buy... Whatever. I will be okay. Sky Lanterns, maybe? More Sky lan More Sky Lanterns. We'll build it, we'll use it to build more Sky Lanterns. I say build, really, just have them delivered from our allies, but... That's fine. That's fine, too. You know, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, upkeep reduction sounds like possibly the best thing for us here. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Also, this is still broken. I think we need to fight this army. Just like genuinely, I don't think anything's going to function until we destroy that army. I think this has gotten stuck. And I don't want it stuck, because it's an interesting mechanic that's like... It's rewarding, you know? So, it's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying that that's the case. Uh, let's get the defensive supplies building there. And let's put up the growth building there. Good. And I think that's all that money. Uh, so we do have another chance to move the compass. Uh, so we always got that to max, which is nice. But yeah, we'll go back to the Celestial Lake for the growth. That really was keeping us afloat, I think. That was keeping our, our cities growing. Which they're not really doing now, because I've been refusing to build any of the growth buildings, which is very uncharacteristic of me, honestly. Usually that's the first things I build, but, um... You know what it is? I think it's because I, I'm building all my buildings with the assumption that they're permanent because I know that it affects our harmony. And so that is really throwing me, I think. I think that's what's doing it. But that's fine. Because, you know, I have no money for building anything anyway, so it's all good. The god bear rolls in pain. A death rattle felt across the dimensions. Its arcane energy rips across the mortal plane, creating rifts and scarring the world with gateways into the Chaos Realms. Awesome. It finally happened, guys. It finally happened. It finally happened! So, uh, yeah, rifts. Rifts are here. This is a thing. Uh, but first, this is more important. We have a caravan got to a place. So, uh, Jiang Zheng has sold their wares at Frozen Landing. A cargo of 600 was sold for 2,388. Nice, nice. This caravan will now begin to return trip to the, the capital. And we've got a Frostworm Skull. Very nice. As your caravan made a swift exit from the Frozen Landing, a hag pushes a cloth parcel into your trader's hands. Frostworm Skull. The skull seeps a constant icy mist, concealing those that hold it. That's going to be missile resistance, 4% for all units in the army, and it gives vanguard deployment. That's really fun, but it is armor. But that is a really interesting armor piece to give to, like, a spellcaster. So actually, I think I'm... Uh, where are you? <laughs> where? Oh, there we go. Here. I think I'm going to give that... Uh, we have no armor here. Frostworm skull. Brilliant. That is perfect. Being able to give that missile resistance to everyone in the army is really good. Not sure Vanguard deployment really helps, but it doesn't have to. <laughs> it doesn't have to. Threat reduced in the Great Bastion. Oh, it, okay, good. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. That's super weird, but I'm glad that's going up again. That's nice. Quite like an invasion to happen. That event, the rifts, nothing to do with the Bastion. So, set a war, coordinate, uh, war coordination target for an allied faction. Okay. The Tome of Fates knows all. The Rifts are our opportunity to reach the Chaos Realms. Now, I truly earn my fee. 
And yet, a gateway opens both ways. While we may traverse the rifts to enter the realm of chaos, or even be transported to far-flung areas of this world, we must close the gateways not required, or the demon tide that flows forth will lay your lands in ruin. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, upgrade a settlement building to level 5. Oh, okay. That's a weird quest to get all of a sudden. We get a catalytic kiln. That's really cool. Oh, that's fun. Prefers weakness to fire damage. Does damage per second. It gives you a passive ability. Just damages things nearby. And gives them fire weakness. That's really fun. That's really fun. I really like that. That's exciting. I want that. Uh, Shield of Atolos and the Ogre Blade. So I'm looking forward to getting that. It also does give extra armor for Terracotta Warriors, but we don't have any of those yet. So, you know, eventually, maybe. So, upgrade. Uh, yes, yeah, so your mightiest fortresses may become great engines of war. The home bases of conquering armies that roam far and wide continue to develop your facilities at home. Only the most important uh, provincial uh, capital settlements can develop into high level. Yeah. So, finally, we can take a look at these things. There's one. So there are these rifts. There are these rifts here. And we're going to use those to teleport to the realms of chaos and steal all those demon souls. Uh, so that's fun. But uh, they're seeping they're seeping horrid uh, chaos corruption into our lands. And actually, I'm surprised we're seeing fewer of them. So I'm pretty sure. Right, I'm pretty sure. The first... Uh, I'm taking credit for this, okay? I'm taking full credit. So the first build I played of this, these were showing up in literally every province. It was literally every province these would show up. Um, but now, it's actually just like a smattering, uh, which is really good. I think it's so much better. I mean, there's still quite a lot, as you can see. But it used to be literally every province, so it's just a massive chore to deal with them all. It's still quite a mission, but like, yeah, before it was, it was just obnoxious, frankly. <laughs> but anyway, so, Miao Yin, let's continue heading this way. We're going to use this. No, Shrine of the Alchemist, we're going to upgrade that. And uh, now that I've done that, I need to send a caravan before I forget. So, uh, Xiong uh, Dramu, let's send you to somewhere. Altdorf? I want to meet Reichland, so let's go to Altdorf. And hope that this isn't a terrible idea. We can send a lot of money too. Awful lot of money. It's going to take 10 turns. Which is quite a bit. Uh, or we could go over there. This is going to get us the most money, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Actually, quite a lot of money to be gained from going to Thunderguts. Well, it's not to Thunderguts, to... What is it? Shattered Stone Bay. But no, we're going to go to Waldorf. Almost ten grand from this. A lot of money. Long way to travel, but a pretty good army doing the travelling. Uh, we... So, with the when the rifts are active, demons are going to pop up. And they may attack the, the, the caravans right. as well, which is really cool. It's really interesting that it does that. But yeah, so these rifts, uh, we need to get to them. I want to describe what they do, but I need to get to them first. So we'll go to this one as the first one. So here. To trespass upon the Chaos Realms is to step into a nightmare. Four domains ruled by their cruel masters. Nurgle, the master of plagues. Slanish the Lord of Excess, Tinch, the Changer of Ways, and Corn, the Blood God. We must visit each realm and steal a soul from a demon prince, for it is these souls, one from each of the great powers merged together, that shall light the hidden path to the forge. Excellent. So, uh, all we can do is close the rift, because this isn't our legendary lord, so we can't travel to any of the realms, and we can't traverse the rifts. Traversing the rifts, by the way, if you're playing like a domination game, which is something that I will be doing with uh, Scarbrand at some point, because he's perfect for it, because he's just a big angry, angry old sod, isn't he? So it's kind of perfect. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a, do a domination campaign with him where I just, I'm just going to kill all of them, right? All these guys competing, I'm going to kill them all. That's going to be my plan with them. So traversing the rift is great for that, because that literally lets you travel to any other open rift on the map. It doesn't matter where. It doesn't matter if you've explored the area or anything. So I could literally just use this to, to sort of hop scotch over onto uh, Kislev and just wipe it, destroy their capital, <laughs> you know, on the next turn. It's really cool. It's a lot of fun. 
So really fun addition, but you can only do it with your legendary lord, which I guess it makes sense, otherwise there'd be, you know, armies zipping all over the place. It would get, like, really messy real quick, um, and in a way that would just, like, kind of, the suspension of disbelief would break down pretty quickly, I think, if just everyone travelled everywhere for no conceivable reason. It would be really obnoxious, but uh, I think it's really cool that it exists generally. Because, yeah, once you get your uh, legendary lord somewhere, like, just take a city over and start recruiting new armies there. It'll be great. So, it's a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, really, we want to do the objectives. But the sad thing is, if you're not doing a domination game, then I think this is why this was added, in case you were doing that. If you did want to play, wipe out all the opponents, it was put there. But, because uh, you need your legendary lord to go into the portals here, then you don't really have them free to go and explore and, like, smash up other things. Sometimes you have a few spare turns, if you're quick, but, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. It's a lot to juggle. So, close the rift. Hello, Raziel. So these armies will get bigger over time. Um, I, I don't know if it's literally just turn after turn, but certainly as the campaign progresses, right, it's not just one rift being open, it's the, an open rift later in the game that just opened will have a bigger army in it than a rift that just opened at the start of the game. Uh, so, well, now, for instance. So, yeah, expect little resistance at first and then more and more later. But what's interesting is if we don't close this rift, armies can start spilling out of them and attacking our colonies and stuff. They will actually attack. So you do need to have defenses up or close the rifts or do what you can. But Chaos Corruption will saturate the land regardless of whether, uh, you know, whether you're fine dealing with the armies or not. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, do I want to fight this? I kind of feel like it's a complete waste of time to fight it in terms of, like, strategy, but in terms of, hey, look, it's Demons of Slanesh. We haven't seen them yet this campaign. It kind of makes me want to fight it. All right, let's go. This is cool. I've never seen this map. Look at this. Wow. These buried sentinels. What were they doing? What were they doing here? And who's this? Oh wow. This is really cool. Yeah, I've never I've never seen this before. Whoa. Look at this back here. Is that the bastion in the background? Is that what that's supposed to be? Maybe. But yeah, this is awesome. I've never seen this map before. I mean the actual map itself is kind of boring. Just like a couple spots of surprisingly lush trees amongst uh, a horrible desert. But still, the, the terrain, like the scenery, is kind of wild, huh? Sure is. Right, so... Let's fight some demons, shall we? You can hang back. And you guys can inch forward a bit. That's all I really want to do with them. Oh, okay, you know what? This is more interesting than I thought. These sentinels are actually blocking us here. So you have to fight around the sentinels. This is so cool. Also, the Sentinels, when you recruit them as units, they're not this big. They're a lot. They're a hell of a lot smaller. Which is kind of a pity in a way, but, you know. Might be a bit much if they were this big. So, these are Hellstriders of Slanesh. Vain, glorious mortals granted the immortal power they crave at the cost of everything they once were. Um, handy, I suppose. And here, we of course have Demonets. Classic demons, the hypnotic dancing foot soldiers of Saladesh, beguiling senses before shredding flesh with knife-edged claws, euphoric in the gifts of pain. Pretty grim. And, uh, oh, Melkoth's misfine miasma being used, because this is clearly a, uh, shadow herald. Herald of, uh, of Slanesh. Shadow wizard, which is very cool. So, Raziel, an ascendant demonette and sorceress of seduction, granted the honor of attending Slanesh's every dark woman desire. Oh, uh, groupie, basically. Oh, and the Marauders of Slanesh, the mightiest of Norskins, bereft of fear or pity, delighting in every wound and pledge to make endless sacrifices to the serpent. Very cool. So, we have Harmony, so I can summon some ancestral warriors. So I'm going to. So yeah, these demonettes do a lot of damage. You can see our Jade Warriors, I mean, they've been so resistant in the past to, to getting hurt, but... Now, I mean, my word. That worked out well, though. Uh, and that's gonna get shot as they run, so we're fine with it. I'm fine with it. 
So how are you guys doing? Doing good? These don't even have bombs, which I find very sad. Like, they don't have bombs like the Skyjacks do. Be nice if they did. Uh, oh, I kind of didn't realise that this was a spellcaster. I don't know why. I kind of figured it was a caravan master. <laughs> I don't know why. But I did, so that's that. It's just it's how it is. Uh, how are you guys doing? Can you can you shoot them? How's that? Can you do that? Oh, it looks like they're going to go anyway. Yeah, we did good. We did good. They're, they're getting banished. Oh, yeah, there they are. Yeah, they're getting banished. There we go. And then... Oh, there they go. Fun. Very cool. So that's Slanesh, or at least, you know, four of their units. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to venerate. I want that uh, replenishment so we can move on to, uh, to greater things. So, Rift is about to get destroyed. They ran off, but that's not... No, they're, they're gone. Don't worry about it. Uh, so Rift has been destroyed, which means uh, Chaos Corruption is not going to continue here, which is great. So, let's get back to the Never Village of the Moon, which we're going to upgrade, because we can. And you got a level up. Lovely. Uh, oh my god, we got bound spells. That's so cool. Getting Getting enfeebling foe would be pretty wild. I think that would be pretty sick. Uh, lowering armor is quite nice too. Spirit Elite is just always useful. Having four of them for free is actually quite a good way to help snipe out sort of lords or, you know, scary, like, single model entities. Though, Enfeebling Foe does let us win duels. I just don't think we're going to do any dueling. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's go with Spirit Leech. I think that's quite quite fun. Quite malicious. But we'll, we'll do it. From my ancestors. Brilliant. So we got that. Uh, we will need to deal with this guy. We will need to deal with this guy at some point. Uh, we also have a quest to give a attack order, don't we? So, let's go to war coordination. And I can't seem to select a target. Oh, you need allegiance to do that. I'm being silly. How about you? Do you have... Yeah, plenty. Good. In that case, uh, I'll just tell him to attack this guy. Wait, where are you? Oh, he has an army here. Okay, good. So there we go. We set a destination. And that has given us another 800 quid. Brilliant. Big fan. And can I get upgraded? We can upgrade that if we had any money. We're running three grand a turn now, which is good. Big fan of that. Uh, let's upgrade this some more. And I'm going to go to diplomacy. I'm going to see if anyone else wants to trade. <laughs> no one even slightly wants to trade. Good, good. I didn't want to trade either. I did not want to trade either. Dragon -blooded you can't shaman. can't convince me that I'm lying. Uh, right, let's go over here next. So I'm going to go to Omei, and we'll get this one with her. Yuran, Cha uh, Yuran Chanfu can go up to this one, and then we can take out those guys afterwards. Master while uh, Chan Duan Mu is going to head down here after this um, to close this behind Yao Yin, who's going to jump into it like a lunatic. So I think we're all set. So unassigned skill points, always. Let's get, ooh, better scales would be nice. Though being able to take more cargo with him is bloody useful. Oh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. I'm gonna go with cargo capacity. I think that's, that's gonna earn us more money quicker. You know, it'll cost us more to send him off on his way, but that's okay, because the beauty of having more than one, uh, like, caravan master is that the turn that one arrives, you get a bunch of money, and then you can just send the next one using the money that you just got. So you can always afford it, you know, to send people on their way. Unless you're dumb and you spend all your money on that turn, because you, like, really needed something. Or, I don't know, just dumb, whatever. <laughs> I'm not ruling out just being dumb. So, but it's, uh, it's handy. Handy as hell. So, let's end the turn. Ally mobilize against army. I don't really mind if they do or not, honestly. Uh, so, Land of Plague Lord has been entered by the Poxmakers of Nurgle. 
Which is interesting, I guess he wanted to go visit his granddad. So, circumventing the maelstrom, Hogsmakers of Nurgle have crossed reality to enter Nurgle's realm. If they are allowed to reap the demon prince's soul within it, then they have a better chance of claiming the dying god before you. So, uh, the incredibly frustrating and um, scary thing here is if you are in a realm of chaos, uh, when whoever it is, right, whoever's in there, gets the soul from that realm, everyone else in that realm is kicked out. So as soon as you enter a realm, you're really entering a race to the end of that realm uh, with with whoever else is in there, which I think is really cool. I think it's a really interesting one for sure. But currently it looks like there's someone in every single realm, which is obviously a little bit of a problem. So, you know. Uh, you know what, what I might do? What I might do, I might actually determine this by our biggest rivals and the oracles of Siege are our biggest rivals, right? They're very much the foil to uh, to Cathay. So I may actually go to Corn first. Because I hadn't really decided. There's some great stuff in Corn's realm that we can exploit um, early on. But I wasn't necessarily going to go for it. I wasn't necessarily going to go for it, but now we might. So, second the Maelstrom, bloody bloody blah. And here we go, another one, Dark Prince's Realm entered. Somehow avoiding the Maelstrom using forgotten lore, seducers of Slanesh has entered Slanesh's realm and will attempt to cull a demon prince's soul. Should they be successful, then the dying god could be within their grasp. They've just all gone home, apart from these guys, I suppose. Oracles of Tsinch has managed to skirt the Maelstrom using their own machinations and enter Gorn's realm seeking a demon prince's soul, thus getting them closer to the forge and the dying god. The Ice Court has used their own arcane means to bypass the Maelstrom and enter Siege's realm, uh, intent on claiming a demon prince's twisted soul. If they succeed, they'll be one step closer to reaching the Dying God before you. And we've got the Blessed Temple Guardians. That corruption minus one for all provinces. Useful, in it? Because there's all these corruption engines everywhere. Oh, and it lasted 15 turns, by the way. But we're on 14 now. Oh, it's actually 16. Is it last turn of the tomb before? I can't remember. I think it was the turn... No, it was last turn. It's 15 turns. But uh, they'll all close. They'll all close after that. So, it's a bit scary. So, uh, the rifts that bypass the Maelstrom into the Chaos Realms are not stable doorways. They will disperse from the mortal world after this many turns and not return until Ursan roars again. So, there you go. It is said that each stone sentinel sings a constant and divine song of purification. Sadly, inaudible to all those not born of dragon blood. It kind of sounds like a good thing. Honestly. I, mean, I guess it's constant and divine. But just, just the noise. Can you imagine? My like, god, I'm trying to sleep. Stop singing. Uh, raid a region. <laughs> Scrinter, they don't have land. What are you talking about? Anyway, others too. Eubonic Swarm. And they all sing I. These two are like rogue armies, essentially. So I don't know what the hell's up with that. That's fine. You do you, I guess. Guys, I don't know how you ended up at war with them. But you do you. Um, right, we're gonna move over here. So another right, like interesting thing uh, is you don't actually have to be in like a normal stance. You can enter these in March stance. So you can even do a battle in March stance when you're tired. It's just like, no, this needs to be done. And I love that the game allows you that sense of urgency. I think it's really cool. But you know, there's a cost to it. If you're in March stance, you're gonna have a fatigued army and that's not gonna be good at all. Hey, good. Yeah, sure are. Uh, so, Wan Chang, or... Hey, do you want to build something over here? I mean, I'm still in harmony. I don't want to mess that up. Let's just build that. And we'll build this. And that'll do. The Emperor's chosen daughter. Yep. Oh, I can't quite reach. Nearly. Next turn. It's just a shame. We started really far away. I mean, actually, we could have gone to this one, which would have been much quicker. I should have just jumped in this one, actually. With, uh... With her, because we're going to close this behind us anyway, but like it didn't matter. We could have entered this one and then just closed that one regardless. Don't know why I just didn't didn't do that. Very silly of me. Anyway, Child you need to head up this way now. Nine. Uh, you can head over this way. We'll close this. It'll help our allies out. We'll be in spitting distance of that guy. Him. I don't know what he's going to do. Probably not a lot, honestly. Probably not a lot. So we have a level up over here. Couple, in fact. So you've leveled up. Uh, we'll give you, you know, Root Marcher you should have. I know she's going to be guarding the walls quite a lot of the time, but when she is leaving the gates, then that's when she'll need to go faster. So still worth doing. 
Uh, Griffin Lance, Sword of Swift Slaying, Trickster Shard. Got a few bits and bobs kicking around. Nothing great, though. Uh, spell Resistance of 40%. I mean, that's not great. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I haven't done this, this campaign. You can fuse magic items together and you get a new one. So, Talisman of Endurance. That is so much better. That is so much better. 12% ward save. You know what? That's too good for you. You can't have that. <laughs> not allowed. You're not having it. Uh, metal shifting is pretty good. So every time we cast a spell, uh, all of our army, the effect range is infinite. Our whole army for 13 seconds gets a 12% bonus to base weapon damage and armor piercing weapon damage. Which is really nice. It's really good to have those passive abilities. Those that wear the Talisman of Endurance can tolerate wounds and pain and suffering far in, ex in, far in excess of normal people. Anyway, let's, um, let's have a look. What did you have equipped? Oh, yeah, okay, we're not replacing that Talisman. No, we're not replacing that. But, uh, him, Tasman of Endurance, or he's, he's already got one. He's already got one. Alright, Chen, let's give you Tasman of Endurance, okay? You've earned it. Brilliant. Favored, uh, I just realised our army sucks, actually. Our army is actually kind of terrible. We need to we need to do something about this. This this will not do. We need to at least have a full stack. It's ridiculous we don't. So Western provinces, well, okay, we can't do anything. And that's actually the only army built, uh, the only army, the only ally that we built um, a outpost in. So never mind. Building upgrade available. Sure there is. Boom. Good. The technology, we're going to go with alchemic mortar. Because that's, um, well, that's just in straight line. I just know it's not going to affect harmony and I don't want to affect All harmony until we've sort of dealt with the rift nonsense. Because I really do want this to keep going. So... Let's move on. Caravan encounter. Hungry, hungry ogres. You know, Malkrad attacked us last time. Not even kidding. So there is a stench on the air. The unmistakable aroma of cooking bones. A band of ogres burst forth, drool dripping from their mouths. They look on hungrily at your retinue. Their leader shouts out his demand. They'll let you pass if they can eat some of your meat. And they don't mean the cargo in your caravan. Fight, obviously. And we're just going to auto-resolve that because I don't think they're going to be much of a problem. And we will venerate with replenishment. The Dark Prince's realm has been entered by the Exiles of Corn. Somehow avoiding the Maelstrom using forgotten lore, Exiles of Corn has entered Slanesh's realm and will attempt to cull a Demon Prince's soul. Should they be successful, then the Dying God could be within their grasp. We really need to make a move. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so, victory over the Ogres. Extra leadership fighting Ogre Kingdoms. This master of strategy and tactics has wiped the crude lumpen ogres from the chessboard. If not forever, then temporarily at least. Cool. Close a chaos rift. I've been doing that a lot. You know, like quite a bit. Rather than using the rifts as ingress, close this gateway lest the demons, frenzied by the maelstrom, burst forth and lay your domains in ruins. Sure. Let's do some recruitment. Uh, oh, we have to be garrisoned, do we? Like, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, so I could get myself a Jade Warrior Crossbowman unit. You know, it's nothing fancy, but... It does give me access to a good unit. Although, I can get, like, crane guns, grand cannons. I get some good stuff in a turn. I can get just Jade Warrior Crossbowman. Although we only have two. Two slots. Uh, I'm wondering what to get. I think the Peasant Bowman are going to have to come with me. I know. It seems a bit iffy, but I think they are. Uh, I think I might go Crane Gunners. Though they are a little bit awkward where we're going. Same with the Grand Cannons, actually. Like, none of this is perfect. Um, it's better to have quite mobile things in the Realm of Chaos, I find. But I'll go with the Crane Gunners. I think they're fun. I'd love to swap them all out for Sky Junks, but we'll see. Ooh, I'm a bit worried about Sky Junk as well, actually, at some point. Because where we're going, there'll probably be a lot of flying units causing them some problems. There's, there's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot going on. Just you wait. Uh, so, let's upgrade... Oh, I don't even know. Let's do that one. More income, please. Thank you. And Terracotta Graveyard. Well, Pome, let's upgrade this somewhere. Bigger garrison. Good. Uh, I could actually hand over some of these units. Um, because there's no need having these peasant long spearmen. That's a bit silly. So we'll we'll get over here with uh, Chen Duanmu, and I'm actually going to get closer. I'm actually going to get closer. In fact, I can just swap the units now. That's perfect. So let's get rid of you. Put you in there. 
And, I mean, I think that's probably all I want to swap. I'll have an alchemist in here as well, would be quite fun. Have more spellcasters. Is that worthwhile? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no for now. We'll, we'll let, um... Ready to defend. We'll just let that... Shaper of do. The uh, okay, now you need to loiter, so we can close that in a second. Alright, Lord not moved. Well, you should move. Silly. So silly. Uh, so I can't actually get close to that, because be Horok there is, is in the way. It's quite clever of him. You know, these agents of chaos guarding these chaos rifts. Very cool. Alright. Good. Unassigned skill points. Oh, who leveled up? Uh, Xiong Duanmu. Of course he did. He just fought some ogres. Alright, unyielding. Unyielding. Hand, indeed. Indeed. Look at him with his heroes and his nobles and all that nonsense. Trusted allies, what information do you bring? Join the war against the Lazargs. I'm not going to do that. Silly. Bit busy saving the world from chaos. Another caravan encounter. Uh, your scouts have discovered a banded force preparing an ambush. There is an alternative route, but it will add days to your journey, or perhaps, without the element of surprise, the enemy can be beaten and the caravan won't incur a delay. So this should have been an ambush, but we spotted it, because we have a perk. So we shall brook no delay, slay this would-be ambushers. Faction destroyed, Slanesh. Oh, okay. You just destroyed them, huh? That's strange. So did I not... Uh, did I spend the money? Is that what I did? I don't think I spent the money. I think fighting them was to avoid the... I have no idea. Maybe I, I was being dumb and I didn't read the things properly. I think it was either spend the money to deal with the ambush or go the long way around, which would have made the journey longer. Not sure. Celestial ancestors. I, I was I was rushing. I know. My bad. Within my reach. But I've got rifts to close. I'd like to end up in the realm of chaos today. If, uh, you know, if that's alright with you. Silly Slanesh. Also, a lot of Slaneshi rifts, so it's not just Slanesh every time, by the way. It just happens to be that's all the ones we've been entering. Uh, also, when you go to one of these, you don't have to then travel to the, the associated uh, realm, you know? So if it's like a, a Slanesh rift, you don't then have to go to Slanesh's realm, so it's, you know. So anyway, we've got some money, more money for that, which is good. And you know what, I'm going to actually just run straight towards them. If they run off in any direction, I'll, I'll just chase them about. It's fine. So, what should we get here? Blossom Wind. I like Blossom Wind. I, I haven't used it yet, but it looked cool in the, um, the, the, the spell browser. You know, the spell browser. The spell browser. I like the spell browser. <laughs> I saw it in the unit browser. Meowing. Right. Meow. Alright, let's get that built. Uh, and I guess that'll do. Bastion. Okay, let's get stuck in. Move as one. And so, yeah, we're going to chase Zinch, I think. Uh, so, Zinch went to the realm of uh, Korn. He went to the Blood God's domain. Oh, it actually has the... Yeah, it shows it shows the other factions where they are, which I really like. I like that it does that. But, yeah, we're going to go to the Blood God's domain. Wish me luck. The realm of chaos. A place unbound. The constraints of the mortal dimensions have no effect here. Only the whims of the dark gods matter. Yet there are places where no ruinous power claims influence. In the Forge of Souls, Belakor lurks and Urson dies. Until we have the four demon prince souls, it will remain out of reach. The Blood God's Domain. Upon its blood-strewn ground, armies of demons clash in gladiatorial contests of unending slaughter. Battle through this cauldron of war and reach the Brass Citadel. There you will find the Gatekeeper, the favoured Demon Prince of Khorne. Kill him to claim his soul. He looked at me with eyes of hatred and rage, and now the fear is mine. I stand 
apart. Okay, so we've got a problem. This bar is almost full. And that's a problem. For reasons. So, how they play. The Blood God's Domain. The Brass Citadel. Pictured here. Hi. He's got a face, so you know. Yeah. I didn't want to just look at him and wander off. That feels rude. So, march upon the Brass Citadel. Bring the Gatekeeper, Korn's favourite demon prince, to battle. The desolation of battle. Korn will not let you approach the Brass Citadel. I love this. It says, approach the... <laughs> The ducks, the, the brass citadel, don't do it. You're not allowed. Okay. Fine, that was short-lived. So, Korn will not let you approach the brass citadel until he believes you worthy of his attention. You must first slaughter in the blood god's arenas and wastelands. Only when you have killed enough will the route become clear. The bloody foes. You won't just face his demons in battle, for Korn has brought many foes from the mortal world, all desperate to appease the blood god. Be ready to fight, some, uh, fight on bloody battlefields wreathed in storms of magic. And the Blood God's arsenal. Throughout his fiery realm, you will find legendary weapons forged for Korn's use. The first champions to find them will wield them in battles to come, both here and on the mortal plane. However, Korn is jealous, so should you return to the realm of chaos, he will want them back. Nightmarish Domain. The Chaos Realm is no place for mortals, and even demons will struggle in the domains of rival gods. The longer you spend here, the more your mind will be unhinged, and your lords afflicted with chaos traits. However, this can be mitigated on the mortal plane, through buildings from the protection chain. So this is, uh, yeah, the nightmarish thing is, ah, oh, it's real rough. So here we go. At the start of your turn, have at least 300,000 bloodshed, which means something, supposedly. I think there's damage dealt, I think, is what it correlates to. But every time we do some battles with the random armies that are wandering about, of various flavors, as you can see, this one is is dinosaurs and squigs and hydras. It's, it's a mess. Um, which is fantastic, and it'll help fill up this bloodshed. But we can also attack our rivals, like Kaivos here, which hopefully we'll be able to chase him down. Also, there's a Madri Iron Bark over here, and there's also all these different items. There's Stars, uh, sorry, Scars Kraken Killer, uh, the Chainsword. There's a Chainsword. Uh, you know what? I hadn't noticed these other little islands dotted around. How fun. It's a little prison. Anyway. Uh, so that's fun, and uh, over here there is uh, Gilelian Soul Netter, and over here is the Bane Spear. So there's a bunch of different artifacts we can get. They are all ludicrously powerful, but we'll only be able to use them up until we we do the next mission, basically, up until we go to the next realm of chaos to face somebody. So they're not permanent. You know, it's not like we're going to have them for the final battle or anything. It's it's still huge, though. <laughs> It's going to be real fun. Uh, but we will be swapping out the vampiric corruption for corn corruption. So it's, you know, it's nothing's perfect. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go get them. Let's get bloodshed. Although I can't do that yet because, um, well, we can't. We have no movement left after we go through one of these gates. Which I'm going to close. So, here we go. Close the rift. And now it's a Nurgle force, which I would love to show you guys. Yeah, we don't have much time. I'm going to show you guys Nurgle, and then next episode will be dedicated to earning bloodshed in the Blood God's Domain. That sound good? I think it does. All right, we're going to fight this. All right. Once again, I have never seen this map. God, I haven't seen this uh, crazy tool bamboo either. This is awesome. A choke point battle. This is amazing. I absolutely adore this. This is wonderful. Oh, another little way to cross over there, or over here. God, I love this game. It is so pretty. I love that I'm still seeing new stuff. I'm now like 120 hours into this game, by the way. I, actually, no, I think it's 130. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've played a lot, and yet I'm still encountering new things. It's, it's truly magnificent. So, here's Nurgle. Hello, Nurgle. So, we've got Nurglings that look incredible. They are fantastic. It's basically basically like a whole bundle of these is like one unit. And the animation is just like the one model like falls apart into these many different pieces of it. But it's, it's so cleverly done and it looks incredible to see these little Nurglings running. Uh, so, they're fun. So, yeah, Nurglings. Nurglings swarm. Tiny squealing demons, each little more than an ambulatory pus spore. They spread lethal disease throughout scores of foes. 
Then we got the Plague Bearers of Nurgle. Very scary, one-eyed, horrible beasties. Ugh. So, a droning mass of demon foot soldiers. Their broken, oozing flesh painted with the scars and sores of the Plague Lords. Inoxorable rot. Ugh. And so they have more of those. Many more of those. And who we got? Pestodium. Pestodium here is a, uh, uh, is a herald? What are they called again? Yeah, Herald of Nurgle. Lord of Death, so he's going to be using Spirit Leech on us. The little rascal. Oh, hi. Hi. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, to those able to withstand Nurgle's rot the longest, the Plague Lord grants wit and reason far beyond that of their decaying, droning subordinates. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Nurglings didn't have a good day. They did not have a good day. That's okay, though. And we can throw out some new units. We can heal a bit. That'll be nice. And we can also throw out the ridiculous spell that's ridiculous. I'm going to hit my own troops, aren't I? The answer to that is yes. The answer to that is yes. And I'm fine with that. Oh, God. I don't think they're fine with that. <laughs> That'll do. You alright there, gang? You alright? I mean, that seemed to do a very good job. That did seem to do a very good job. Yeah, I'd say that went well. I'd say that went very well. Totally worth it. God, I love all the sparks coming up here. Stunning. So, everyone having fun? You better be. You better be. I pay you to have fun. It's funny, because usually people say the exact opposite. But, you know. I guess I'm just... I guess I'm just the best boss. You know. I guess I'm just the best one. Dragon Breath. Although I do, I do really take pleasure in using Dragon Breath, so that's probably not... It's probably not a great recipe for, you know, for a decent working um, environment. Uh, I can use Enchanted Metallurgy on these ancestral warriors so they can poison our foes. How's that? Good. And let's get some more healing in to whoever. It doesn't really matter. Everybody's fine. I was going to use Jade Shield on these guys so they have 44%. Uh, 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 thingamajig resistance ward save. Yeah, this guy's having a bad day. He's having a bad day. Like, we all have bad days. Oh, they're dead. Ward save doesn't stop um, summoned units from being wiped out. I know it's a pity. Yeah, I don't think this guy's gonna make it. Oh, <laughs> dead. He's 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 dead. He stood up, but no, he's he's actually dead. Didn't even have time to fall over. All right, a lot of money, a lot of experience, and uh, we, we we lost 13. We lost 13, guys. <laughs> not, not, not bad. Not bad. We will treat them so, Swordmaster, upkeep minus 8% for Jade Warriors and Jade Warriors and Halberds. Dragon that is jolly useful for her, you know, because that will add up with, uh, with all our other nonsense, too. Let's level you up a bit, shall we? Uh, Eastern... Fires. Let's make sure our guns do more damage. Because that's always exciting. Uh, also, we have quite a lot of money again. That's nice. I like having quite a lot of money. Let's build walls over there. And I don't think I can... risk building any other, like, random buildings now. Or can I? You know what? I actually can. So let's go with Yin over there. And in... Uh, what's this? Nanli. In Nanli, let's build maybe a growth building of Yang, so we get construction costs down. It's a shame, because that's income from all buildings, which is really good. Just, I find I favor Yin way more on the economy buildings than I do Yang, which is a real pity. Real pity indeed. But that's okay. It balances out, you know, because harmony. Okay, so that'll do. We spent a lot of money. And... Uh, everyone is all set. But, oh, this is going to be going to be a pretty exciting next turn, that's for sure. That's the for sure. We're in the friggin' realm of chaos. Check it. It's awesome. So guys, this is where I'm going to end the episode. So if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.